Hi guys, welcome to Drum Dog, and in today's short lesson, we're going to be looking at a little exercise that puts your singles and doubles up to the test. Now this little exercise we're looking at today is just on the practice pad. On its face value, this is a simple mixture of single strokes and double strokes. But once you scratch under the surface and start to bring it up to speed, it can be a real challenge and a bit of a hand twister to not get yourself tied up. So this exercise is just a simple combination of single strokes and double strokes, each in a group of six. So kicking off with six single strokes, right, left, right, left, right, left, followed by six double strokes. Right, right, left, left, right, right. Which, you guessed it, leads us back to do the same thing again, left lead. Left, right, left, right, left, right, followed by finally a left, left, right, right, left, left. Now the name of the game here isn't just to get the sticking right, but to play it with a consistent dynamic. So you're aiming to not have the singles sound any different to the doubles. So to a listener from the outside, besides the different pitches of the stick, it should sound just like a constant rate of notes. So to start, let's kick things off nice and slowly. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Now at that speed there, it feels nice and easy and we can keep that going. There's not too much to think about besides that sticking. But as we speed things up, especially when we start using rebound for our double strokes, it does become much more of a challenge to keep up that consistency. Let's give it a shot and see where we end up. Now that's probably my limit with this guy at the moment. And as you can hear there, as you speed up, it becomes a real challenge, not only dynamically, but to keep the exact same consistency of speed as we're switching stickings. I think the tendency can be to rush into those singles as we come out of the doubles. That little exercise really is so much harder than it seems. So as well as focusing on our stickings and our dynamics, it really does put that focus on switching lead hand each time to have as much emphasis on our weaker hand, which as we all know is always a good idea. Now I really hope you guys can get some use out of this short little exercise. It makes for a great little warm up and really brings both hands up to speed with switching stickings. If you want to see more videos like this, then please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we hope to see you again soon.